The auth setup that we currently have for this app is based on JSON web tokens. And we saw that in the React Security Fundamentals course, we set this whole thing up to use JSON web tokens. And as part of that setup, we've got our front end here being served at localhost 3000. And then our API, if we check out the network tab here, our API is coming from localhost 3001. Now, because we're using JSON web tokens, and we can actually see the JSON web token down here in the authorization header, because we're using JWTs, it really doesn't matter that our front end is served over one domain and our API over another. This is one of the benefits of using JSON Web Tokens. You can send your JWTs to any domain and just include them in a header. However, now we want to switch to cookies and sessions. And one of the caveats that comes with using cookies and sessions is that our API needs to be served over the same domain as our React application. Now there's a simple way to make this happen in development since we're using create React app. And that is we can go into our applications package.json file and we can include a proxy. So over in orbit app, go into package.json and come right down to the bottom and just below dev dependencies, let's add proxy, and we'll give that a value of HTTP localhost 3001. So we'll save that, and then let's come into our .env.local file. And instead of having our React app API URL pointing here to 3001, let's take this out completely and just have a relative path going to slash API. So let's save that and we'll open up our terminal again, go back over to where the front end is running. And so let's kill that process and we will do npm start once more. Once we've got that going, we're going to get a new tab with the application coming up and we should now be able to log in again. We go over to our dashboard and taking a look in the network tab now, we see that we've got requests going to localhost 3000. So we've now got everything set up so that we can send our cookies properly.